Welcome to another episode of Star Review with Sticky, and on this episode, I'm talking about the great looks we had at the just concluded 2019 Gate Style Award. And in no particular order, I would love to answer one of the multiple questions that we have. So Kiki, are you saying that it is wrong to go on the red carpet wearing something short? The answer is no. But when you go on the carpet wearing something short, you must create drama around it. Is it the style, in the details, in the length of something? You know, there must be an extra vibe to that particular look. So I love how this place has been done. The detail on the sleeves, the long exaggerated sleeves, and then the sequin on the fabric, the detail on the bust region. This is how to do short on the red carpet and you will not go wrong. Another look that we had in the carpet is going to be the girl dripping in gold. I love everything about this outfit. I would have suggested that a detailed earring will have done the magic. However, I love the eyeshadow. This is so dreamy. It kind of feels, you know, outside of the box, but this particular look you would have expected something shimmery in gold. But the eyeshadow took the look to another level. And here on Star Review, this is a 10 over 10. Now, you know that orange is a season. I've been shouting and screaming. Do orange, it's exciting. It's something that embraces any kind of skin tone, any type of body size, you're tall, you're short, you're big, you're small, you're medium. Orange is a color for you. Now, guess what? Orange doesn't come with that one sided vibe. Either you're a girl or a guy, orange is definitely a color you want to do. Now, look how this gentleman is doing orange with the white stripes. Now, tell me how cold can orange get if not like this. So, are you still somewhere doubting yourself, thinking that maybe no, orange is not your calling. Orange is indeed calling you right now. We had a very loud twirl on the red carpet in this orange skirt and the blouse and I love it. I love the fact that this is on the red carpet and is as playful as possible. You can move around, you have the trim, you have the volume you want, you know, the, the sophistication is present, the fit is great, the total come together is perfect. This is how to be comfortable on the red carpet. And guess what? She's also doing style and trend at the same time. Now, still speaking of guys that went on the carpet to slay the carpet suit to be no other but Swanky Jerry. Now, I love the details of the suit, and that's not just it. The drama the face mask brings to it is everything. Tell me how to create a moment on the red carpet, if not like this. Tell me how to create a memorable it on the carpet, if not like this. This look on the carpet is a 10 of a 10. And I love the fact that this was done in gold because gold has a way of making something that's already cool, extra cool. Speaking of extra cool looks, looks that I personally didn't see coming, like girl, you truly took style from point A to point B and then all the way to Z real quick. Now this white assemble is everything that any red carpet can ask for. I don't see how any carpet is breaking this particular record anytime soon. This look is so unforeseen, like this look is it's just perfect. You know when you see a look and you're trying to understand, you're trying to break it down, you're trying to pull out the fine, fine, and nice, nice words, boys, you are like, no, there's only one word that qualifies this. Girl, girl, you're so good looking in that heavily detailed white dress, and I dare to call this the mighty Avanga direction. If there's something I love about 2019, it's going to be the vibe. I mean, the extra vibe that men are bringing to the red carpet right now. So what are the days when the carpet was for girls? These days, men are coming on the carpet with their eight game. I love this from Pala put together. And the details on the shoulder line. It's not just about, you know, doing the fabric or, you know, matters tailoring. I love the way men are bringing accessorizing into their outfits. And this, on this carpet, is definitely a direction to go in 2020. Up until 2025, and in 2030, I can't wait to see where this trend will be. I'm a girl sold to florals. I love florals all of the time. It's like you know that one thing that says everything feminine. It just helps to you know push out your person, the girl part of you. It just you know makes everything feel very girly and easy and gentle. And this three D 
detail, dress, it's everything and more at the 2019 Glitz Style Awards. Now I tell you this for a fact, it is very easy to go right on the carpet and extremely difficult to go wrong with the carpet. The only way you are wrong with the carpet is when you are trying to do too much, when you go with the flow. Like this particular dress, this is another way to do shots. Like I said before, add drama. Once there's a point of drama, that is going to take all the attention away from oh, you don't have a train, oh, your dress is not flowing on the floor, and then you the way our skin is just popping. I'm like, oh, grrr. this is definitely one thing that we will not forget on the red carpet. News always have their way of showing up on every red carpet. Even when they say oh, black, some people will still try to introduce the nude underlying it. So yes, this is a good way to do the nude on the carpet. I love the detail on the dress. I love the air as well. I kind of feel like it complements the drama on the dress. And then the fitted, maybe one or two things could have been put in place to give you that perfect vibe. However, Neil did good on the carpet. We also have the men doing it on the carpet, even though I'm not really understanding what's on the leg. I get the style, I get the crossing, you know, that's trying to happen there, but I think that when you want to cross and then you get the one of trailer and then you shiver, that exactly explains what happens with the shoes. And finally, for the great looks we have in the 2019 Glitz Style Awards, it's going to be with Zay. This is how to drip in gold. If you do not know how to drip in gold, you have googled it, you've been researching it, this is how to drip in gold. I fascinate all the earrings, the dress, the beads, the stones, and to think that the speech is actually gloss infused. I mean, this red carpet just came to point at us one billion red carpet inspiration for another one year. And this is a carpet, like I said before, that I will not be forgetting anytime soon.